There is something obviously very wrong with British Prime Minister Theresa May. Today, in retaliation for the murder of two uh, Russian former spies, uh, she expelled 23 Russian diplomats in retaliation for the poisoning of a former spy and his daughter on British soil, uh, as uh, well as an attack on another Russian. May also threatening further sanctions against Russia after the Kremlin ignored her ultimatum to explain the attempted assassination with, quote, sarcasm, contempt, and defiance, referring to Vladimir Putin. Unbelievable. Joining me now, John Bolton, former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, now a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute, Fox Business contributor. Great to see you, ambassador. Let me start with Vladimir Putin reminding Theresa May that you do not threaten a nuclear power. Do you think that was sage counsel? No, look, I, I think the British have got to be a lot tougher on this. I think the expulsion of the Soviet, uh, sorry, Freudian slip, the Russian diplomats uh, is a kind of knee-jerk reaction. I think the United States needs to stand with them. President Trump called the prime minister yesterday, yep, I believe, and said that we that. would. Uh, you know, we've got uh, former spies in this country who might be vulnerable to this. But, but let's be clear what the real issue here is. All right. Then uh, I want to get Russians, to the real possibilities. Yeah. The real issue is the Russians used a prohibited chemical weapon uh, to try and okay. kill this. So shall we go pack. to war? I mean, what are you going to? I mean, let's put up the list here, please, of the response of the British government and the U.K. Uh, it, you said that she should be tougher. This uh, won't be hard to beat. Expelling 23 Russian diplomats, uh, blocking Lavrov's uh, invitation to London, threatening further sanctions, as I said. And, and this is a capper, John. No royals will attend the World Cup. <laughs> I mean, how impotent can the U.K. look in the face of a confrontation with Vladimir Putin and his nuclear state? Yeah. I mean, look, I, uh, I mean, where are we going here? This is we're going this, downhill at this rate. That's for sure. Because, because it, it says to Putin, I can I can try and assassinate people on British territory and get away with it. What they ought to do is close the entire Russian embassy and all the consulates, send them all back uh, to Russia, freeze every Russian asset and their financial system they can find, get their tough minded friends in Europe to do the same. Oh, which and get one, us to wait, come a minute, wait a minute. I, I've got to find those. I, I, I want to write these down. Who are the tough-minded allies of the U.K. and Europe? Uh, well, we'll find Germany? out soon enough, won't we? No, I, look, this is a serious problem. No, this, it is a serious goes, problem, but it needs a serious response. And, 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 and they are so impotent and lacking in ability to match the absolute firepower of Russia that it's a fool's errand to play that game, don't you think? Well, it's it's one of well, it is without the United States, and it's one oh. reason why, to me, no. this implicates this oh, please implicates. Please don't suck us into another one. Please the don't. The future of NATO, because because, because Theresa because, May is is a moron, and because she's insulted our president, we should go to war with Russia. Are you kidding me? No, I'm I'm not advocating that. But what I am well, saying what are we is do? this. This, this is the kind of activity that, if, uh, if left effectively unchallenged, is simply going to encourage Putin and others to do the same. And, you know, it's a wake-up call for the Europeans if they don't respond effectively. But I think it has to be for us as well. Yeah, and, and when I wake up and I think that we're sitting here, uh, the president putting his arm around Theresa May and saying, don't worry, it'll be fine, uh, I'll, you know, we'll just put our nukes uh, with yours against Putin. I mean, this is madness, absolute madness. Well, I don't, this is I don't a think woman that's who, what he's... By the way, wouldn't let him come to visit, a uh, state visit, uh, wouldn't uh, permit him in London. Uh, we have to listen to their idiot mayor in uh, London, uh, Sadiq Khan, come into a, a, a technology conference and say he's against our free speech. I mean, what are you talking about? The special what relationship I, I... Is, uh, is 50 years dead. What, I, what I'm talking about is the importance of Britain as it exits the European Union, which is, I think, a critical step that I seem to recall you agreed with. Absolutely. We, we, need, we need to stay with them despite weaknesses in their leadership. I'll be glad to and, trade with them. They just can't have our nukes, and we're not going to, and they can't give us the targeting coordinates. But what, what, what Putin has done by going after Skripal, I think, is uh, testing the Brits and testing us as well. And remember, we've got American troops well, in real proximity to Russian troops in Syria right now. So he, he, needs, a, he needs a learning experience is what right. he needs. 
H.R. McMaster, the word is from our sources that he may be leaving. I don't believe any of it at this point. Uh, you know, it may be fake news, but one thing I would hope is absolutely true is that you would be uh, the successor to H.R. McMaster uh, were he to do that. What say you, Ambassador? <laughs> Well, as you know, I never comment on on those matters. But this Lou, one I would little always, exception. This one I would always exception. look forward to speaking with you. I look forward to that as well. And thank you for that straightforward answer, as always, Ambassador <laughs> Ambassador John Bolton. Thanks for being with us.